Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum viewers. Welcome to this video in which we are showing you how you can quickly uh, get connected to your SAP uh, profile and to your SAP account using your own trading credentials which are stored uh, through this, um, this button into the worksheet and then all you need to do is just log on and once you are log on, once you are log on, you get this screen, uh, screen ready in front of you and then uh, you select your module in the module, for example, you in our previous video, we showed you sell auto report. So sell auto report uh, 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 builds uh, uh, a variant list automatically, whatever are the uh, variant for this T code. Right? And uh, uh, even if uh, you remove this, uh, for example, let me clear it. Um, I clear this uh, cell for you and see the first uh, clear all there has to be some clear all or you can use uh, for example clear something some will copy this to paste in it so that you have no no uh, variant in the beginning right you have only one thing that's ready here okay the next thing you do here is that when you execute just mentioning that the t code you have so the variants will automatically get appeared in here so it is taking you to there now it is building the it has taken all the variants and uh, the variants and then downloading whatever uh, is the report uh, available for you right when you get back so you will see that this is a this is a, the download the rest you can continue with here right so the next thing is that uh, you you get back to this this port and you you should be able to see the variant test right uh, when you when you switch to some other module and you get back to it here for example this one so the variant list is already available in here see? because you have a sheet ready here which contains all the reports having all the variants whatever the reports you run the variants are listed in here and and you will see that these are the variants okay now for example you have this one uh, the, you, you choose this variant this is a variant right and with this variant you want to execute it you have the sap ready in here all you need to do is just click execute it will take you to exactly the variant which you have chosen and it will download the report for you right and you can see that the report has been downloaded with all the quantities of the line items and and the sale prices etc what, whatever was uh, the layout of the report so you will find that all the all these information have been downloaded automatically so this is a time saving technique uh, to run your uh, sap reports uh, instantly automatically and you can continue for example this uh, you say you use this variant and then you run it so it takes you to the sap and it it uh, uses the the variant which you have designed right can continue on this and so it has downloaded all this yes the sales document type as srpo similarly you can choose a different variable for example this is these are debit order these are credit sale credit written well maybe it is a credit note or debit note right so this is the debit note for example and you run it so it takes you to the sap and it is doing its job right Mm. And these are the demos, right? right? And these have been downloaded to the shape with all these data in here, and you can work on it, right? And you can also see uh, sometimes uh, the layout if the layouts are available. Right? For example, you go to this one and you execute it again goes there yeah it's a wonderful tool uh, uh, it's a concept I have tried to give you that uh, using this concept you can custom customize any of your T code execution using any of the variants and uh, and uh, uh, download the, the data from directly from the SAP. 
and then further you can use that download to uh, to pass on the system to any other um, subsystems you have so that uh, they take this data and will report on it right so as uh, we have done this with the, the variants we can also do the same with the layouts as well right so these are the, the reports for which we have uh, these variants and there are certain layouts available yeah these, these are the layouts date wise or and then if you go to object oriented group and this is a and then you can say that in the ABAP you can have these reports date wise and this so these are the layouts so let's try some other report hmm. These are common reports which you have. These are the same. For example, this one, the SAP, ABAP report, these are flight report, these are data browser. Okay. These all are available for you. And you can download the country list. You can use the local interface in this or that. Right. So these are the SC38 and these are local inter, mm, internal table, ABAP mm, procedure. You can choose any any of the customized uh, objects uh, which uh, you might have developed and run it. So you see, we're trying this, try using this. So it is taking you to SC38, mm, the ABAP code, and it is going to execute this flight three table joining, uh, showing you the three tables are joined together, right? And it is going to execute it, right? So these are the carriers and the names and city from and city to. Now this is the ABAP. <coughs> ABAP report has been executed for you. So this is, saves your time and you can uh, close all seven uh, then just login button. Okay, then it is here. Uh, so you got to. Uh, if uh, okay, that's fine. So you don't have to worry about it. Uh, some uh, programs are not uh, using any further downloading, that's why that's in uh, the stop. Fine. And you can go to some other uh, reports like what you have in here. Okay, you have to make sure that you are not in a stop mode. You have to stop it, the debugging, so that the change can take effect. Right, you are changing this. So now all the FICO procedures are made available in here, and you have the variants for the COP4. For example, you use this variant and you run. So this takes you to the FI report, controlling area, and this and that. Okay, so since the information is incomplete, what you have given in here, so that's why it is, uh, it is stuck in up. Okay, so why not you give some, some fiscal year because the financial reports are supposed to be uh, on financial year basis. For example, you say 2019 to 2023, for example. Okay, and you execute it. So this is going to take you to the SAP. This is the financial report. First of all, it is taken 2019. Then it will start to 2020 and so on until 2023. It will continue. It's extracting the, the data, extracted, downloading it, and doing some comparison and using the very the variants which you have selected, the layout which you have selected in this. Yes, so this is done. And the next, it will once it is completed, it will do. It will proceed to the next year and so on. Okay, because uh, it is failing in getting a certain uh, means uh, it is unable to uh, perform. So these are this uh, uh, is not yet uh, complete. So we have to uh, work on it so and complete the job so that uh, these errors are addressed. Right. Uh, let's just stop it mm. and use some other program like Hino to I, uh, FI. Oh, so these are the vendor payment history, for example, right? And uh, okay, and we say run. 
for the time it is going to go to the FI report. Now, this is going again and again with the changing the fiscal year each time, and it will continue its job until 2023. This is 2023, and now that's it. It's going to finish its job, it has done its action, and now you can see that uh, it is now uh, doing the comparison and making a consolidated report for you uh, showing all the years uh, and then you can use your filter to figure out a uh, particular account uh, movement sector you can do it so let this settle and once it settles down then you can uh, further do the analysis on the downloaded data process is complete and this is where it has it has done it and you can see this is what it has got the data for a, uh, the selection right so this was the selection which could have been uh, downloaded right so since this is a test server and uh, so whatever is the data available now uh, for a given criteria so it is downloading it right this is uh, how it has done it is completed its job right? okay and if you uh, for example change change the report for example from customer you can you want to see the customer balances in local currency for example for 2023 and you can run it the same report can be executed and you will see that it will use 2023 because you have shown it. Now this is uh, not a ALV format but it is working and downloading it and bringing it into that. So you can see the process is complete 2023. Yeah. So these two entries it has found. So it has brought it for you to do the analysis. Okay so this, is, this was just an example that how you can uh, use uh, uh, automation to automate your these things uh, straight, straight from the starting means from logging in is also automated and the running of t-code is also automated and and you can use these parameters to narrow down your searches and and get a comparative uh, the report in front of you right? i hope you enjoyed it thank you very much for watching